Neil Howarth before the South End match. Uh, Neil, busy day for you yesterday. Uh, just talk me through it. How how was it? Were you, did you get everyone you wanted? Yeah, pretty much so. Um, I think it's I think it was a good day all round to be honest. You know, we managed to get a couple of young lads out uh, to get them some you know first team experience. And it just sort of freed up a little bit of funding to uh, you know bring in some quality players that will you know really add uh, competition to the squad we already are. And these sort of these transfer deadline days are always pretty hectic. How much is it a case of you you go and you say I want this player, and how much is it kind of you have to find what you can? Uh, it's, it is mad. There seems to be more and more transfer deadlines, you know, <laughs> throughout the season. Um, and we're always on the lookout for players, and there's always, you know, players we we're, we're looking to potentially bring into the club, and it always seems to come to a head, you know, on on, on days like yesterday, um, you know, with uh, the size of squad we had before the the additions, and whatever we had yesterday, you know, that we've got to go through till uh, January, and you can just pick up a couple of little nib niggles or you know a couple of suspensions, and before you know, it, you're right down to the bare bones. So. I think that's why you tend to get a little bit of a rush on, on deadline day just to keep all the bases covered and uh, and the three we've brought in certainly you know cover all bases. And the guys you brought in, you mentioned they're all quite young guys, but they're all you know they've got higher league experience. Are you expecting them to be sort of straight into the team, or are they more backup? Well, well we've not uh, we've not named the team yet, um, but they're not you know they're not coming to you know, playing the reserves or anything like that, we're, they're here to, to make an impact in the, in the first team squad and, uh, you know, if, uh, if you can't be having competition and if, and if, they, if they can start in the, in the team and, and hold on to their place, it's brilliant. If, if they're not in the team and others are up in their game because of the competition, that's, you know, that's why they come to the club. Um, so, we'll wait and see who's in the team on Saturday. It's, uh, it's South End away, you've had a couple of nil-nil draws beforehand. Obviously, there was a bit of concern conceding too many goals earlier in the season. Do you think you've kind of maybe almost gone too far the other way, being too tight defensively and not enough going forward? Well, I think the last couple of games we we haven't scored, but we've we've certainly had a lot of chances, and those chances were going in earlier in the season. Um, and we have conceded far too many goals this season, and uh, I, I don't think there was too much wrong with the you know the the way we were defending. I, talked about it as a group and they were they were silly individual mistakes and I think we've just cut those mistakes out and, and because we've done that we look at, we look far more solid. It's obviously coincided with us not scoring the last couple of games but um, you know we're not on a bad little run at the moment and um, I think if we make the same chances that we've made in the last two games I'd be very surprised if, if at least one didn't go in you know, next time out. And uh, what about South End then? What are you sort of worrying about? What are, where, where are their strengths and weaknesses? They're a, they're a, it's a tough place to go. They're on a good run of form. I think it's, I think it's five on the spin they've won now. You know, including the cup games. Um, I think they're a good, a good, experienced team at this level. They've got good players who are, you know, know this level and and they've, they've got a chance of, uh, you know, getting out of the division this year. Certainly, they've moved up to third very experienced manager and it's, it is a tough place to go it's a you know it's a, it's going to be a real battle on Saturday yes, sir, that's all from me Neil thank you Neil can I just have a quick chat about the, th the three new lads individually and a bit about what you, you know about them because the uh, the Bristol City lab was the first in Toby Ajala um, he's yeah. had a couple of substitute appearances for them hasn't he and been out on loan in this division as well so yeah. what what can you tell us about him he um, he's a very pacey player you know I think uh, that's perhaps one area we needed to address within the squad, you know, a little bit of a bit more pace. Um, and he can make things happen in the final third. He can he can play wide, he can play up top, he's uh he's a he's a talented boy. Yeah, and uh, the defender from Shrewsbury, a few Shrewsbury fans are surprised that they've let him go. Yeah. He's played a lot of games, hasn't he, for he them? Has, he's yeah. been a regular at times. Yeah, so. Connor, he's uh he's a good strong defender. He can he can play in the middle of the park as well. He's uh he's versatile, he's he's mobile, he's he's highly thought of. We thought we'd sign him Tuesday, but he ended up playing for the first team on Tuesday at, at Shrewsbury. Um, so again, yeah, he, he'll certainly add uh, depth to the to, to the to the squad. He's a bit of a key player as well, and the fact that he can play two different positions, can't he? Which is exactly what you wanted. Save him to bring two defenders in, really. Yeah, absolutely. If uh, you know, if he can cover a couple of bases by playing more than one position, and, and Connor can certainly do that. Yeah, and uh, Roof from uh, West Brom, 
uh, every, everyone sort of said that he's, he's quite an exciting player. Um, what have you, have you seen him play in, in development yes. games and that sort of thing? And yeah, a few times. He's uh, again, he's highly thought of there, and there was a there's a few clubs uh, certainly inquiring about him. Um, but it's great that we've managed to, to get him here, and again, he, he'll certainly he'll certainly add some uh, some pace to the to the group. And again, in that final third, he's a very exciting player. Yeah, you haven't named the team yet, but do you, do you know the team already? Because it must is it difficult to know how many changes to make when you when you're six unbeaten, but obviously you've, you've gone a couple of games without scoring, but not doing that much wrong. Yeah, it's um, I think we're pretty much tense to know where we are at the moment. Yeah. Um, We'll just see how everybody is today. You know, make sure everyone comes through. Let the let the new lads sort of meet the new teammates, and you know, settle down. And uh, we'll probably hear the team about two o'clock tomorrow afternoon. I would have thought. Yeah. <laughs> and you've, you've had you've got three out of four away now before Christmas, but you have one more away games at home this season than home this season, haven't you? So does yeah. that give you a bit of heart as well going uh, for yeah. these long trips? Yeah, it does. I mean, it's as you say, we've got Hartley Pool at home in a couple of weeks, but you know, in the next four games, we we're getting some earth miles in. Um, but that's that's what we're in this business for, you know. It's a it's a busy month. It always is. I love the Christmas Christmas period. Um, but before we get there, you know, we've got we've got a tough game on on Saturday <coughs> to deal with first, and uh, you know they don't get any easier. But that's you know that's why we that's why we all love this game. Yeah, Zach, w- Zach and Ed have gone out, and Zach he said it, you know he's been coming off the bench, but I think it'll be doing good to play regularly in senior football for his yeah, first time in his definitely. career. Yeah, definitely. It's been, it's been a little bit awkward for Zach because he, ideally he, he, he could have been playing, you know, still in the youth team on a Saturday morning, but he's not. He's been involved with us on, on the Saturday afternoon. He's been either coming on or very close to coming on and, and, and because of that he's not played as many games as we would have liked. But now, we're, you know, now we've managed to bring a couple of people in. It, it, he can get a real good month worth of games and you know, get up to match speed. He did well at Cleve last season, didn't he? And that really seemed to help him kick on, and suddenly he's getting a pro contract. It's, yeah, it's a different, it's a different level. The, you know, the senior stuff and going to Cleve and, you know, playing against men where the result matters and uh, rather than the development of players, it's uh, you know, it's a, it's a good education for him. And it's you know, going to Gloucester now, it's a, it's a, it's a very good standard of football. It's a, it's a good, it's a good step up from Cleve, and it, you know, it would be. Looking forward to monitoring, seeing how he does. Yeah, I know you haven't got massive numbers in the squad, but did you consider sending Joe Hanks out because he's another one who probably, because of the, the step up he made last season, he hasn't had that much football really, has he, the last season and a half? Yeah, it, it is. It's an awkward age. It is an awkward age when they, you know, they, they they've been playing youth football and then they're not quite ready for playing regularly in the first team, you know. Um, but yeah, that's again, that's I'm not certain if the, if the deadline's gone for, for the league teams as well. Joe, Joe can go out on, on loan and get games when uh, when we feel that's needed. Yeah. Cheers, Neil. All the best. Thank, Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers.